In this image, I want to talk a little bit about how to use sun rays and also how to make it look subtle. This image already has a really dramatic before and after, but specifically here in the creative panel under sun rays, this has added a lot of drama to the image. You can see before it's added, there's a lot of contrast, varying texture, and light is coming from the right side of the frame. But with the light rays, I'm able to accentuate that and still keep the subtlety. Let's reset this and I'll show you how I created it. So the first thing you'll see is place sun center. Well, we know it's gonna be off to the right, so let's just go ahead and place it to the right for now. I'm gonna increase the amount so we can start to see this effect. So the first thing, it's starting to look pretty dramatic. Let's move it completely off screen. Now this is gonna pull that light off screen and we're gonna to try to match that natural sun direction that we have in the image. That's already a dramatic before and after, but we can do some more. So we have the amount set, so we can increase this to increase the overall look, but we can also change some different elements, like the length of the sun rays. In this case, I don't want it to go too far in the image. We kind of want it to hit the book and the area in which he's already in the highlights. So that's pretty good. Penetration is gonna change the overall look too. It's gonna make the sun rays look a little bit more bright. And on a similar way, we can take them down a little bit so they almost disappear. So the default on this is usually pretty good, but you can set it and get the result that you want. What I like here is the number of sun rays and the randomization. So if I move this to the right, I'm gonna get more little fingers of light. And that's gonna be good for certain situations, but this one, it's gonna be a little bit too much. So I actually wanna soften the amount or reduce the amount of light rays, and I also wanna randomize it. So after you set the amount of sun rays with randomize, you can get a different result. And we can just kind of click through this just like this until we find one that feels right. And in this case, it's right about there. One last thing to point out is we can also change the warmth. Right now it looks pretty good, but if we needed to match the tones, we could increase it and get a warmer light in the sun rays themselves. Let's go ahead and leave that at default. This image already had a lot of natural light, but quickly we were able to accentuate that by adding subtle sun rays. Taking a look at the before and after, we were really able to quickly transform this image.